everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a senior workout. All you're going to need is a ball of some type. Um, it can be an exercise ball, a small ball like this. It could be um, a pair of socks just to hold in your hand. It could be a ball of yarn. You don't have to have the ball. Um, so if you don't have it, you can still do these exercises. Um, just mimicking with hand motions. You could also use some light hand weights. Um, again, if you don't have this, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So, you don't need this for the warm-up, so I'm just going to place it down over here. Um, and today's workout will primarily be standing. So, I want you just to go ahead and give me a little march in place. So, nice and light on those feet. Use those arms. Let's go ahead and roll those shoulders forward. So, big shoulder rolls to the front. Squeeze up and around. And then to the back, same thing, roll them all the way back, nice and loose, and march it out, arms at those sides, good. We're going to take those arms up higher right here, your feet are going to keep moving and you're going to alternate punches to the front. So you're going to take your right arm and you can go out and in, left and in. So you're just going to keep alternating. If you want to speed it up, you can or you can keep this pace. It's just the warm up for now. We'll add some speed to things later. A couple more. Punch. And give me double punch. So both arms punch and in. Out and in. Good. Try and keep those hands high. Those feet are still moving. Two more and shake it out, good. All right, let's take it to some high knees. So pick those legs up a little higher than that normal march from the side. I'm here. If you cannot go that high, that's okay. So wherever you're at, just try and bring those legs up and down, good. Arms are just staying at those sides. We're gonna do one more here, each leg. And this time you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna go up, down, and out. So just that right leg up, down, and out. If you need to hold on to something, you can grab a chair, you can use a wall, working on that balance. Couple more. And one more here, then we're gonna switch legs. Good, so now your left leg, we go up, down, and out. Up down and out. So just warming up those hips and those legs. You don't have to get the knee as high as me. It's wherever you feel comfortable. Two more. And last one. Go ahead and march it out. Good. All right, we're gonna take those arms swimming. So you're going to take your right arm up and around like you're swimming in a pool. And then your left arm, just warming up those shoulders again. Good. We're going to go backstroke right here. So this time you go up and around back, up and around back. Good. Couple more. And shake it out. Good. All right, we're going to go side to side next. So you're gonna take it over one, two, one, two, good. Let's go in side to side, nothing too crazy. Use those arms, good. And stay where you're at, feet a little wider. You're gonna sit back for some squats. So push those hips back and then stand it up. Nice and tall, doesn't have to be a very deep squat. You're only going to where you feel comfortable. We're gonna do two more. And then you're gonna march all the way over to the right. So over, 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 over. Good, this time instead of squats, calf raises. So you're gonna push up through those toes, come back down all the way up and down up on the tippy top of those toes. 
And one more here. Good. Come back to the center. All right, I want you to just keep those feet moving here. Take your hands behind your back and just squeeze those shoulder blades together. Quick little stretch before we start the main work. So, if you have that ball, go ahead and grab it. What we're gonna start off with is some high knees. <laughs> so, your ball is gonna be out to the front and you're gonna try and balance. So your arms are out and you're gonna try and bring your knee up Keep that ball straight where it's at. So you just bring it up and down. So when you're ready, I want you to start, bring that knee up and down. We're gonna add on to this. So as you're doing that, try and squeeze the ball as tight as you can. So push it in between your hands and then release. Good. You're working the core as you do this. As you squeeze those hands, your core is engaged. Three more. That's one, two, and three. Good, give me a little march in place. We're gonna shake it out before we go to the other side. So we're gonna march for five, four, three, two, and feet go flat. Take that ball back to the center and drive that left leg up. So to start off with, you don't have to squeeze. We're just working on getting that motion down and now I want you to squeeze. So squeeze in as that leg goes up. Good. Try and keep those arms up the whole time. Work those shoulders. Two more. And give me a little march. Good. All right, keep those feet moving. They're marching. Ball's in your right hand. You go out to the side and back in. So go out and in. Good. Keeping those feet moving to keep that cardio up. Four more. Last two. You're gonna hold it out here. I want you to keep the arm out. Squeeze that ball as tight as you can with all your fingers for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your feet moving. Switch over to the left hand. We go out and in. So reach out as far as you can with that ball and try to keep that arm up to shoulder height. Halfway. Last three. Two more, we're gonna hold it. And we hold and squeeze for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Back to the right arm, feet are marching. This time, feet are still. You're gonna take your right arm and your left leg and they're going to go out at the same time so you're reaching with that foot and that hand so start it up when you're ready you go out and in so again if you need a chair to hold on to or something get that handy working on some balance notice i'm trying not to lean over this way i'm trying to position myself straight up to that ceiling give me three more and last one right here. Good, switch. So now the ball's in my left hand. Right leg's gonna kick out and left arm reaches. Go out and in, it's nice and controlled. I'm breathing. Trying to stand up nice and tall. A couple more. This is eight nine and ten good give me some marching all right ball in both hands you're gonna push it to the front so you're gonna do a chest press back in and shoulder press so join me when you're ready we push out to the front overhead it's just a normal little march to keep those feet moving get that heart rate back up and just alternating one to the front and one up top good Couple more here. You get to pick the pace, so if this is too slow, you can always speed it up. And one more here. Good, all right. I want you to march those feet out wider. Toes are pointed out towards 
the walls. You're gonna do a squat. So you're gonna try and bend the knees and stay in this position. And you're just gonna bring the ball up over your head and back down and then stand up. So you bend up over that head and up, good. So I'm keeping my arms up the whole time. They're not coming down here. Bend the knees up and over. It doesn't have to be a big bend, just enough to work those legs. Oh, I, I messed up, sorry. Up, and now I stand. Good, couple more, almost there. We're breathing. We're gonna go one more time back over. And up and march, good. All right, next move. You're gonna do a little chop. So, you're gonna have your right arm all the way up and then you're gonna try and bring your left knee up. So you're gonna go up like that and you're gonna try and touch the ball to your knee. So it's a diagonal chop. Your other arm can kind of rest. It can be out here, wherever you're comfortable. So bring that right arm up and drive that left leg up. Try and touch that ball to that knee. Good. I'm trying to keep my right arm straight. I'm not bending it. I'm also trying not to lean into it. I'm standing upright and just my leg and my knee are moving. Give me three more. And one here. Good, march it out, little rest. So now that right arm gets a break. Ball's gonna be in that left hand. Bring it up over your head, feet go silent. And drive that right leg up. And try and touch that ball to knee. Good. So again, my left arm is straight. Good, couple more. A little diagonal chop, last three. This is nine and 10, good, march it out. All right, so while you're marching, both hands are on the ball. I want you to take all 10 of those fingers, squeeze it as tight as you can and release. So we squeeze and release. Again, squeeze it tight and relax. Squeeze and relax. One more time. Squeeze it as tight as you can for five, four, three, two, rest. All right, let's take a quick water break here. So grab yourself some water. back you need a little bit of room to move around so I'm gonna start all the way over on the right side and I'm gonna be going that way um, but I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds to kind of get that heart rate settled shake it out and get your ball I'm gonna show you what we're doing so you have a slight bend in those knees and you're just gonna take a side step and push so you go side step and push okay so we're just gonna go back and forth here so when you're ready I want you to have a slight bend in those knees. Give me a side step and push. Good. Side step and push. Again and push. And then we go back. So you go over and back, over and back. Good. One more. Good. And then we go back. So we keep traveling now. Again, if this is easy, you can go quicker. You can speed things up to your liking or you can match my pace, your choice. We're gonna do it one more time though. So we're gonna take it over to the side and push. Good. Keep a slight bend in those knees, working those legs, and go back one more time. Good. Awesome job. All right. I want you to take that ball, you're gonna hold it straight out in front of you, and you're gonna make a big old circle around your body. Try and grab that ball behind you, and then bring it to the front. So you're catching that ball back behind your back and circling it around. You can always add some feet marches in. Two more this way. And then once you get back to the top, reverse direction. So go the backwards way, back and around, catch that ball. Good. Your feet don't have to be moving. So if you prefer to keep still, you can do that too. One more and relax.
relax, good. Okay, this time you're gonna have the ball in just your right arm. You're gonna go alternating leg kicks to the back. So you're gonna take your right leg and kick back, left leg back, punch, okay? So from the front, do a curl, curl, punch, all right? So start it up when you're ready, kick your right, left, punch. Go right, left, punch. Again, if you need to have a chair, something to hold on to for that balance, that's okay. Work in the back of those legs, those hamstrings, trying to touch the back of your shoe to the back of your butt here. Good. Couple more, we're gonna switch arms. One more. And switch arms. So same thing, but I'm gonna start with my left leg. So I'm gonna curl left, right, punch. Good. That right arm can kind of hang out or it's holding on to something for balance. Your choice. Almost there. We're halfway. Good. Three more. And one more here. Good. All right. Take that ball in between those legs. So you're going to have your arms are going to be out to the sides. You're going to squeeze that ball as tight as you can and we're going to hold it, okay? So arms are out. You're going to squeeze it for five, four, three, two, and give me little pulses here. So squeeze in and out, in and out. If your arms get tired, drop them to those sides, but I want you to squeeze it and hold for five, four, three, two, and small pulses again. Good. So it's a squeeze and relax. You're working those inner thigh muscles right now. A couple more. Again, if your arms get tired, drop them down. Squeeze and hold for five, four, three, two, and relax. Good job. Okay. Up next, both arms again. You're going to take your right leg and you're going to step back, up, and press, okay? So you take your right leg, you tap back, back up, and press. So from the front, it's going to look like this. Back, up, and press. Join me when you're ready. Step back and press. Good. Now, if that's easy, you can add a little bend to it so you can step back, bend, up, and press. So you go back, bend, up, and press. Good. Working those legs and those shoulders again. You get to set that pace. You are halfway. Before we go to that other leg, we'll do a quick little shake out. Couple more. And last one. Back, down, up, and press. Good. Give me a little march. We shake it out, and then we're going to go to that left leg. So when you're ready, feet go flat, ball in both hands. Take that left leg, tap back, up, and press. I'm just going to start here for now. Get the hang of it, and then when you're ready, you can add that bend in. So you go back, bend, up, and now we press. Good. You can always stick with just tapping. Don't have to bend that leg. Couple more. Last three right here. Back, down, up, and press. Two more. We're breathing. Last one. And shake it out. Good. Grab some water really quick. We got a couple more things and then we're going to stretch it out. All right. So when you're back, we're going to grab that ball again. And you're going to take that ball and make figure eights. So the ball straight out in front. You're going to loop it up and around. Switch hands up and around. So you're making an imaginary eight. So when you're ready, go ahead and join me. Just those arms are moving. You can make that eight as big or as small as you'd like. We have a couple more here. And then catch it in the middle, we reverse direction. So make it backwards, eight, up and around. Good. Chest is lifted. Almost there. And go up and around 
One more time. And catch that ball in the middle. Good. Okay, we're gonna do a little side step. Your ball's gonna be here. You're gonna take your, we'll go to the right first. So you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna go out, in, and curl. So then we go other side, out, in, and curl. So that's a little side step, slight bend in those knees, up, and then curl that ball towards your face. Good, so I'm putting most of my weight on that outer leg, leaning into it. Inner leg is kind of straight. Couple more. Almost there. We're gonna do one more on each side right here. So this is one on the right and one on the left. Good. All right, take that ball on your right arm only. It's gonna go out to the side and you're just gonna give me small little circles to the front. If you wanna add some feet marching in, you can do that. But just small little circles. We're gonna gradually start making them bigger here. And then make them smaller again. And now backwards, so backwards circles. Starting off small, gradually get bigger. And then get small again and switch arms. So feet are still moving. Left arm, we go small circles to the front, working our shoulders, and make them a little bigger. And make them small again. And now backwards, backwards small circles. Gradually make them bigger. And small again and take that ball to center, good. Okay, feet can go flat, ball is in your right arm. You're gonna slightly bend forward, right arm is here, you're gonna push that ball back and up. You go back and up. Work in the back side of those arms. Couple more, good. Just bending at that elbow, arm stays still from that elbow to that shoulder. Good, four more. This is nine and 10, good. Switch arms, so left arm, same thing, slight bend, and push that ball back into the front, good. Fully extend, try and keep that back flat. You're halfway. Last three, two more, and 10, good. All right, let's grab some water. You can put that ball down and we're gonna stretch it out. All right, so feet, toes pointed towards me. I want you to take your right shoulder over and across and just gently pull on that shoulder. Wiggle those fingers around. We did a little bit of shoulder work today, so we wanna make sure and stretch those out. And switch over, so left arm over and across, gently pull and just shake those fingers out. Good, take your right arm up and over that head and gently pull that elbow back or just push here. Stretch out the back side of those arms. And switch. Take your right arm, we're gonna go up and over to the side, just reach to the left, really get a good side stretch in. And up, over to the left, or the right, sorry. Reach to the right. And then back up, while you take your hands to your hips, and you're just gonna push your butt back and then to the front. So from the side, you push back and then up. Just very gentle. Back and up, two more. Back and up, last one. Good, 
Awesome. Take your arms behind your back and just squeeze those shoulder blades together. Stretch out that back. Opening up through that chest. Take some good deep breaths in. And then I want you to take your right hand and gently pull your head to the right, stretching out the left side of that neck. And switch, left arm pulls to the left. Arms to your sides, just reach down to the sides like this, little side stretch, side bend, back and forth. Try and make yourself as long as possible. And hands come to the front, push them forward, and just round through the back. So stretching out that upper back. And then stand it up, give me some arm crosses. Alternate arms in front. And wrist circles, good. Reverse direction, other way. And then a couple deep breaths. So we're gonna take our arms up, deep breath in. Exhale down, again. One more good deep breath in. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully you had fun and I will see you next week. Bye guys.